at home. Take a look at this big cat that was trapped in Sanilac County over the weekend. Now, we told you about recent sightings of a Canada lynx. A lot of people couldn't believe it. There have only been rare sightings in Michigan over the last 40 years. Local 4's Jamie Edmonds has the story of this cat's capture and questions about where it came from. Here at the Howell Nature Center, they take in more than 4,000 orphaned or injured wild animals per year. But there's one guest that just got here that has everyone a buzz. <laughs> <I'll be> <laughs> to see this beautiful animal up close, I mean, it's like it's like a ghost in the forest. For wildlife experts who work with everything from porcupines and turkeys and coyotes on a daily basis, seeing an animal they've never seen before was a big deal. Very, very few people have um, caught a glimpse of, of a beautiful Canada lynx, so to, to, to have one here is very special. This lynx was captured in Sanilac County Sunday and brought by the DNR to the Howell Nature Center yesterday and they used um, a leg hold trap without teeth. So it was a it was a safe trap um, to get the animal. How an animal that usually is found in the forests of Canada made its way to Harbor Beach, Michigan is unclear. It is anybody's guess, and I think that's what they want to find out. A, is this truly a wild lynx and not an illegal pet? Um, and how did he get here? Did he cross over the ice um, in the St. Clair River? Um, you know, it's, it, we just don't know. For now, the animal, which is registered as a threatened species in Michigan, is safe and calm. For those who came to the Nature Center to catch a glimpse of this rare animal, we're out of luck. The lynx is being held in an outdoor enclosure out of sight from the public. Even our cameras were not allowed to record it due to permit regulations. The closest we could get, this bobcat that is in the lynx genus, but is smaller in size. And I am here live outside the Detroit Zoo Administration Building because I just got confirmation that the lynx will be traveling even farther south in our state to the Detroit Zoo. It will get a full medical evaluation and then it will be a state decision what to do next if it will be released or otherwise. It is important to note that no one will be able to see the lynx here either. It will be out of public view. Live outside the zoo, Jamie Edmonds, Local 4. Such an interesting story. We appreciate it. Thank you, Jamie.